Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome, and this is just this kind of a special edition. I've been getting a lot of um, people messaging me, and so I figured let's just clear this all up. <laughs> so, welcome Melody, um, hi Regina, glad to see you guys, Taylor joined. Um, thank you Christy for inviting your followers, I totally appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to share with you the exact website that this is from. Hi from Kentucky. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I am going to, though, share with you some of the interesting, um, oops, hype, sorry. <laughs> hey, Jennifer Kelly. Nice to see you here. Um, thank you, Melody, for inviting followers. Always helpful. Um, I'm going to share with you something because it's something that would take a very long time to discuss Um but the more I'm thinking about it, I don't know that it is a long time to discuss. So we're just going to discuss it here. And the message that I keep getting, and I will quote to you what this says, but I'm not going to share with you the actual website that it is from. I think many of you could figure it out. Um, it's not a big deal. Let me see if I can find it here. I had it up and then I didn't have it up. Let's see. Um, the thing that you're hearing so okay let's just back up for a second there is there was a lot of misunderstanding about how the distillation process worked and so i was trying to help clear that up but in the process i think a lot of people jumped on the wrong side of that bandwagon what i mean by that is um people started talking about the distillation process of it being like a tea bag right and like it's like the first distillation is like the freshest best and then as it gets distilled it's like using a tea bag over and over again that is incorrect so i was trying to kind of like teach what the distillation process was and in the process we started talking a lot about first distillation versus complete and i see that everywhere it's not from me it's rampant around the internet and so um it's interesting because that has become a very hot topic meaning people will say well all your oils are complete distills and ours are all first. Well, that's an incorrect statement as well because not all of our essential oils are first distills, um, but most other companies are complete distills. So what does that mean, right? And you have to understand language and that's what I try to kind of help you guys understand when it comes to marketing as well and that it's very tricky how people will write something and it kind of implies something but it doesn't say the whole story. So I'm going to try and help you understand some, somewhat of the whole story here with this post, with this Periscope. Okay. So I'm going to quote, some have asked about the difference between first distillations in comparison to complete distillations. Truth be known, almost all essential oils are distilled in a single process. So a first distillation and a complete distillation are one in the same. Okay, that is what you're starting to see a lot of companies post something to that effect where they're saying, look, people, there's no difference. So stop bugging us. <laughs> um, <clears throat> went on a bike ride today, so I'm like all, whew. Okay, part of the issue is that everybody is calling all these companies and saying, do you have a first distill or a complete distill? They all answer complete distill because they are all complete distills. However, they're answering that partially out of ignorance because they are not the people that are bottling or processing or doing any of it. They just know that their oils are complete distills. I've also found a lot of ignorance in the salespeople with their own assumptions. And so they're assuming you're asking a, a question when you're actually asking a trick question. So you're asking, because you understand virgin olive oil compared to extra virgin olive oil compared to extra extra virgin olive oil. They are assuming, like what we originally assumed, that complete distill means that it's the best. When we now know that no extra, extra virgin olive oil is better than virgin olive oil. <laughs> but because of the terminology, it seems a little bit funky. So the thing I want you to start understanding and stop promoting poorly <laughs> is the fact that every single company gets their oils and i'm not talking about in blanket form right because like let's say a company carries 40 different oils those oils are all not done the same and i think that's where we get into this kind of little bit of a problem area is that you would assume you know we're saying all of our oils are our first distills so that's not true um and all of their company's oils are not complete distills it's just ignorance on both parts Every single plant life or 
thing that is being extracted from has to be extracted the way it's supposed to be extracted. So that just means that it's not one set process for each thing. You have to know that like um, cinnamon bark is processed very differently than peppermint. And frankincense, we all know, is ex very different. Vetiver is very different. Um, you've got, you know, cypress that needs a full 24 hours to be processed. I mean, that's a complete distill, right? So when you look at the language of what that quote that I read you says, it says, truth be known, almost all essential oils are distilled in a single process. That's truth, right? They are. So that what they're saying is a workaround. It's not that then the second statement was, so a first distillation and a complete distillation are one and the same. That is incorrect because you could stop a distillation process after four hours and get a very different oil than you would if you kept it going for 16 hours. Because remember, this is science. The more volatile parts of a plant, they boil, their boiling rate is, fa is earlier. It actually, they boil faster. And so again, that statement is half true and half not true. And so it's causing some hype, right? With people saying, oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> You have to really read the language and understand what they're saying here. And yes, almost all essential oils are distilled in a single process. And actually all essential oils, if they are done kind of right, even kind of right, should be done in a single process. And this, you'll hear this on websites, like really people, they don't distill a plant and then turn the machine off and go, you know, home and then come back and turn the machine back on. That is not what happens. There's a lot of misunderstanding around distillations. But what does happen is that it, a single plant life has its own specific temperature, pressure if any, um, time, type of distillation or extraction method. And so this is so important to understand that it is not a one size fits all. So I'm going to encourage you to start sharing a slight different way rather than touting first distill versus complete distill, I would like you to start touting the fact that every single oil that we carry is distilled properly from seed to seal. You guys need to constantly fall back on our seed to seal because we are the only company that has that ability to say that. The only company, literally the only company that can say we use specific seeds that we have selected from this previous year. If you haven't watched every single video on the seed to seal process and you haven't studied your butt off about seed to seal, I'm gonna challenge you to do that this weekend. I want you to know our process. I want you to understand it because if you don't, you can't properly sell our oils. I still hear people on our little chat discussions, not in my groups, cause they know better, but like in like the big, huge, larger groups, talk about, well, we use therapeutic grade essential oils. I'm like, where have you been? You guys have to understand that that is a useless term, like a useless term. To even say that, you better bet, because people now know better, you're gonna bet that you're gonna start an argument. I've heard this before where people say, I don't know what to say to my family members because I told them that we use only therapeutic grade essential oils. And they're like, yeah, everybody says that. That can't be trusted. And they're right, you're wrong. <laughs> so know what you're talking about. And that that's my whole goal for even doing these. Um, Seed to seal, you, you can feel exactly so confident when you use Young Living on your kids because you know there's nothing harmful in them. And I was talking to a girl today who has, she uses a different company and fine, but we were talking about the whole idea of potential con contamination. And, you know, for my child, I, you know, I have decided to go with Young Living um, and she has not yet, but she's not really concerned. And so because she's not that concerned, I don't need to be that concerned. It's her child, it's her, you know, I have just kind of told her some of the warnings that I kind of, the red flags that I didn't like about it, but otherwise that's, you know, it's totally fine. Um, you know, we just have to do the best we can. You know, we can't become fanatics because we tend to be fanatics. And I just wanna um, encourage you guys to, to be a, I don't know, be a good advocate and be a, um, you cannot be a good ambassador of anything if you don't know what you're talking about. And I think oftentimes too many people 
choose not to say anything, like they're nervous because they don't know enough. Well, you really don't need to have that much education. You just need to have the right education. So my encouragement to you is to go to Seed to Seal today. Watch it with your kids. It's so fun to watch with your kids. But watch it over and over again until you really have a good handle on it. I encourage you to write notes and maybe reiterate it in your own words. It's kind of like how I study the Bible and it's important for you to really get it in your in your body of, as far as like your understanding of it. And then explain it to as many people as you can. You're never gonna get good at explaining it to people if you don't explain it to people. <laughs> so practice, get outside of your comfort zone. Um, you know, the first time I ever did a 101 class, which in my book is all scientific stuff, I put, I did it online like you can actually go see my very first time I ever did an oil 101 class was on YouTube. And what I did, because I couldn't remember all of that information, was I took down note cards and I put those little sticky notes on my computer, literally, like here's the, the filmer, you know, the camera, the filmer. And um, I put sticky notes all around the note, okay? So literally all around were the notes. Um, Rustique, Rustique Lux, cute name. Um, if you wanna join Young Living, you can, contact me directly at jen at jenosullivan.com and I will help walk you through that process. So you can go to youngliving.com. Um, I would become your oil lady. So I don't really ever sell on these, but anybody who ever asks, I just let you know that you have then full access to me. And that means that you're just one of my people and you're going to get a bunch of um, education from me and personal one-on-one -on -one stuff. So it's a little bit different. Um, you guys all have access to me here. But anyone else who is wanting to get on board with Young Living, if you don't have Young Living, or if you're using another brand and would like to try Young Living, just contact me directly. So it's jen at jenosullivan.com, or you can call your own oil lady. I know there's a lot of people on here who don't have oils yet, but have a friend that actually is a distributor of Young Living. Please go with them, okay? Um, it's just, it's totally your call. Uh, so anyhow, back to that 102 class, I had sticky notes everywhere with every single point I needed to make. And um, thank you, I'm glad. <laughs> That's the point, I try to. I try to make it, make it as uh, easy as possible. And I don't mince words and I don't like hype. So you guys know that the book I just um, published is like the facts without the hype. <laughs> so, um, and I'm happy that you guys are enjoying that book. I've been getting a lot of good reviews on it. So thank you for that. So anyhow, um, I love oils. I think it's important for you guys to teach yourself by teaching others. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of teaching, okay? The book is called the essential oil truth and so you can go on um www.theessentialoiltruth.com or you can just head over to amazon um and get the book it's faster through create space i've been finding out so it's much faster so um if you just go to createspace.com that's my publisher and you can actually order it directly on there um, and apparently people are getting them like three or four days quicker so that's a good thing but um yeah so otherwise i hope this was informative to you guys i hope that you are enjoying a lot on my periscopes if you have wanting if you're wanting to see a ton of education like we did freeze tests yesterday we've done a bunch of different things that, that are fun you can go on catch.me slash gen photo okay so that's my my original twitter feed and i just kept it for here because of twitter you have to have twitter so gen photo um, so catch.me forward slash Jen photo and that's it for today This was just something that was on my heart because I have been getting a lot of people Forwarding that thing to me on one of the websites and I I try to so any of you guys that want to get on with me on Facebook You can message me and enjoy um, You know questions, so you're welcome and have a fantastic Saturday. I won't see you tomorrow because Sunday I'm off. And then Monday, sometimes I do our, we'll do our marketing Monday. We're trying to maybe change the date on that, but just to help with some people who, anybody who's in small business. So, okay. Thanks you guys and have a great day. Um, and I'm glad that we were here and we're able to share this with you. Okay. Bye.